XRP holders, this is absolutely ridiculous. So we have been seeing a lot of these big updates happening around this space, specifically from the SEC regarding them targeting Ripple, targeting you know other companies like Debtbox, for an example, or even Library. And now you know we did get the announcement that the SEC was looking into Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0, Consensus, and others. And well, recently we got a pretty big update regarding this, which of course we will talk about. We will address it as well. Um, but for the most part, I also want to uh, really kind of talk to you about how this does affect Ripple. How does this affect XRP? And are we s still seeing some major corruption happening around this space? Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Nick. For those that are new to the channel, hopefully by the end of this video, you do become a subscriber. So recently on June 18th, we did get an announcement from Consensus themselves, and we have Ethereum survives the SEC. Today, we're happy to announce a major win for Ethereum developers, technology providers, and industry participants. The Enforcement Division of the SEC has notified us that it is closing its investigation into Ethereum 2.0. The old season time bomb is ticking and now is the best time to go and get your free access to 30 secret crypto gems that I personally have researched completely for you so that you can save a ton of time and make a ton of money. The link down in the description below takes you guys to this page where you can claim your free access instantly right now, free of charge. It's completely free. So what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Go and click the link down in the description below as well as in the comments below to get access now. This means that the SEC will not bring charges alleging that sales of Ethereum are securities transactions. The decision follows a letter we sent on June 7th asking the SEC to confirm that the May ETH ETF approvals, which were premised on ETH being a commodity, meant the agency would close its Ethereum 2.0 investigation. And if you guys did remember, you know, over here we have Ether ETFs should be fully approved by September. And this is coming from Gary Gensler, the SEC chair himself so yeah i think that this is actually a good thing that they did uh send a letter in but we have the closing of the ethereum investigation is momentous uh but it's not a cure all for the many blockchain developers technology providers and industry participants who have suffered under the sec's unlawful and aggressive crypto enforcement regime our fight continues in our lawsuits uh we also seek a declaration that offering the user interface software metamask swaps and staking does not violate the securities laws it should not take a lawsuit to provide the much needed regulatory clarity to allow an industry that serves as the backbone to countless new technologies and innovations to thrive but here we are now listen full transparency i am all for this i think that this is a great thing um i think that it's great for the entire industry now who is this not good for well it's not good for the xrp community xrp even ripple technically everything about this is just off to me because xrp had to go through two and a half years of this long awaited battle with the sec to get any sort of closure any sort of major update and if we go back to consensus's uh twitter account i'm pretty sure that this got announced or so they announced their lawsuit against the SEC on April uh, 25th. I forgot when the SEC actually brought this um, this lawsuit to consensus, but I think that it was maybe like a couple months. I think it was January when this got announced. I might be wrong, but it was such a short amount of time to get this turnaround. And I'm just like, well, what what about XRP? What what's going on here with the SEC? Now, we also got an update from Fred Rispoli because it seems as though this is getting a little bit twisted. We have, although it is certainly awesome to not be subject to an SEC investigation, substantively, this closing of the investigation may not mean much. And we have why. Because of the post below, consensus fight continues in district, district uh, court in Texas. Substantively, this lawsuit and an SEC enforcement action are the same case. The only differences are the burden of proof and position switches of the parties. I did think the SEC would seek to dismiss the Texas case and file its enforcement suit in a favorable jurisdiction, but this seems highly unlikely now. 
What happens to the Texas case now? If consensus dismisses, we are merely at a wash and exactly where we were before the investigation was made public or more accurately before it started. If consensus persists, the same issues will be litigated just without the threat of civil fines, penalties, and jail time had the enforcement action been filed. What happens next will be extremely illuminating in determining substantively what the SEC's actual public agency position is on ETH. Now, Again, to me personally, I feel as though I, I, I feel as though Ethereum is just going to get the free pass again, if I'm being honest with you guys. I mean, listen, why is Chair Gary Gensler saying that the Ether ETFs should be fully approved by September? Even within these e ETF discussions, it's basically answering whether Ethereum is a commodity because even going back to what Consensus said over here, right? We know that the ETH ETF approvals that were confirming were, were uh, confirmed back in May. They're premised on ETH being a commodity. So if we get the Ether ETFs approved, doesn't that throw out the entire SEC argument anyways? Which is why I think that a lot of this, even if the whole idea of, oh, maybe it's going to get thrown out, maybe it's not. I think that's just a, a wash. I think that's just a ridiculous argument. I think that this is just a waste of time because I still think that the SEC is just going to give it the free pass. But outside of this, right, we have the SEC lawyers argued repeatedly and successfully in the Coinbase hearing that digital asset plus ecosystem equals security. But now they acknowledge that ETH, a digital asset plus ecosystem, is not a security. So now what? Never mind. Just kidding. Do over. It's embarrassing. And this is exactly the problem, right? Like this is the problem. We... I, I don't care about Ether versus XRP. I don't care about consensus versus Ripple. I don't care about any of that. I think that we have a big problem here and the big problem is it's the uncertainty of what the hell is the sec doing what are they actually doing what is their stance what is going on here for me personally and with every single major update that i've pushed you guys regarding the sec regulations litigation all that kind of stuff every single damn time that i do research it feels as though the sec doesn't know what they're talking about. And if that's just a case, which I don't think it is, then why are they even touching crypto? But in my opinion, I feel as though this is an anti-crypto stance. We know Gary Gensler has given out clarity regarding crypto before he even stepped foot in the SEC. Um, and now that he is in the SEC, it's like he did a 180. And we know this. So what is going on here? But now it seems as though XRP has another issue. California judge breaks with New York counterpart sends Ripple securities lawsuit to trial. So it seems as though Ripple is going back to trial. And we, can ha we have down here a civil lawsuit on securities claim against Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse will proceed to trial in California. A judge dismissed several other uh, claims made in the lawsuit. Now, the big thing that they're looking at is uh, down here, which is... The plaintiff, the, the plaintiff has alleged that Garlinghouse violated California securities uh, laws by professing to be very, very long XRP while simultaneously selling millions of XRP on various cryptocurrency exchanges throughout 2017. But what, what I find funny about this is, you know, Vitalik also was selling a ton of Ethereum at the top of the 2017-2018 bull run. He even came out and said that as well. So what's going on here? Why is XRP the one in the wrong, but Ethereum seems to be getting cleared on every single front? I don't know. I just think that this is ridiculous. Um, outside of that, we have up here from Stuart Adorati, we are pleased that the California court dismissed all class action lawsuits. The one individual state law claim that survived will be dealt with at trial. Again, I don't think that this is like something too, like I, I feel as though like this is going to be harped on for a while from a lot of people saying like, oh, there it goes, XRP's dead, it's done. Um, it's just going to be another FUD piece in my opinion. I don't think that this is a big deal. Honestly, this will probably be settled out for a very small amount of money because again, this is like such a small thing to even argue. But in my opinion, I don't think that this is much. Over here, we have win for Ripple in the Oakland class action. Judge grants Ripple's uh, summary judgment motion on federal class claims for unregistered securities as well as the state law securities claims. But these were procedural wins. The class action is now over at the district court level as to whether XRP is a security. However, the court held it is for a jury to decide whether all three prongs of the Howey test are met. That claim, an individual claim by one plaintiff, could or will go to trial, though. 
in all likelihood will settle given the extremely low damages like i said it definitely will settle and very bad jury uh, verdict that could result in plaintiff wins to sum up court says whether xrp is a security in the context of retail buyers on an exchange is for the jury to decide um, and not a matter of law ultimately crypto world needs to keep pressure on getting federal legislation because we are on track to have an xrp a security in california but not in new york and again this goes back to my argument that what the hell is the sec doing because you know we need crypto laws we need crypto laws 100 we need clarity we need transparency we need to know what is what and right now it's uncertain what is going on in this space even over here though it seems as though we could very well be on the cusp of having some sort of major move happen around the xrp case and ultimately bring in clarity around what xrp really is um how ripple's operating and things like that this could very well clear xrp is not a security even in terms of those institutional sales big shout out to nerd nation unbox for this we have did christina Littman of the sec just confirmed that the sec is not appealing the ripple case we know how these speculations have gone she knows check this out i'll say on the ripple appeal point i'll be curious to see whether the parties appeal there i think there's some speculation that because judge rakoff and the Terra opinion explicitly disagreed with with judge torres's logic from the ripple opinion and then coinbase doesn't really address the ripple opinion as much but almost you know pretty explicitly adopts the Terra logic um i think there's some speculation that the sec might just let the ripple opinion stay there as a district court opinion and not risk you know elevating it to a circuit level where they could potentially elicit bad law when they have otherwise favorable rulings in the aftermath of the ripple litigation so it'll be interesting to watch after the remedies phase concludes whether whether either party now this was two weeks ago again she is speculating so we don't know for certain but you know this is someone from the sec we'll have to wait and see on what's going to happen with this but if we do get something on the federal level here right it could squash everything we're talking about these class action lawsuits would like this is california guys so this is a state law federal law will completely overthrow that so i don't think that this should even be the focus i think that the focus is what the sec is doing what's going to happen next again i do think that the whole ethereum consensus thing again i think that this is just going to get a free pass again i think that ethereum is going to get you know a free pass here because even from chair gary gensler himself back in may um we heard about these spot etfs they're based on Ethereum basically being a commodity. And now we have from Gary Gensler himself saying like, hey, they'll be approved by September. I heard rumors about July. It seems as though Ether is going to be cleared. And I know that XRP holders out there are probably going to hate this, but this is a good thing. We can get this out of the way. Now, do I think that this supports and reinforces the whole idea that there is something going on at the SEC? Do I think that this reinforces, you know, that there is you know, something to speculate about, you know, Ethereum getting the free pass, XRP being targeted, Ripple being targeted, 100%. And I do think that this actually makes things even worse around ETHgate because guess what's happening? We're, st you know, still seeing the whole free pass and XRP still, you know, lagging around, waiting for the institutional sales to be brought up in question and completely, you know, thrown away. We're still waiting on that. Guys, it's been, you know, almost three years now. Or actually, no, it has been three years, technically, three years and like five months. So think about how crazy that is. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on because more free content. If you guys are more welcome, follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.